As the sun rises this morning, <laughs> Memphis police once again investigate a deadly crash. This one at 545 this morning at Southern and Goodlett involving a person walking. First responders took two people to the hospital. Sadly, one of them died. Less than 24 hours before, just last night, family tells us Julia Maxwell was hit and killed as she walked to a bus stop at Winchester and Clark. Police tell us the driver responsible didn't stop. Maxwell recently celebrated 35 years of service at Labonner Children's Hospital, where she was a nursing assistant, dedicated to serving children and the community. These cases are two of the three crashes Memphis police have told us about involving pedestrians in the last 48 hours. This map shows they happen all over the city. New stats from the police department reveal last year at this time, 55 people died in pedestrian related crashes compared to 69 deaths so far this year. Yes, I got hit right here in front of my driveway and the guy kept going. Rodney Beecher lives off Winchester, feet from where Maxwell was killed last night. He believes speed plays a big part in recent tragedies. We've been trying to get speed bumps because this is a drag strip up and down this street. They could put a camera up here, they put them everywhere else. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. Now we did reach out to the city of Memphis requesting an interview about the issue of pedestrian related deaths inside city limits. We were told they were looking into our request and we're still waiting to hear back.